Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Cue the echoey noise because we're back in the bathroom and we're doing my nighttime skincare routine. I thought it'd be nice just to do a chill one today, nothing stressful, just what I do on the daily. So I'm already in my cute little um, dressing gown that's blue with like little love hearts, which is cute. I've already had a shower, washed and blow dry my hair. And so this one is like four steps. It's so easy what I do. Um, what I've already done is wash my face and it's pretty much the same as the morning. Get all this hair out of the way. No, that's not cute. Is it gonna stay? I think we're gonna, it's gonna be okay. It'll be fine. But what I've already done is wash my face with my CeraVe uh, hydrating cleanser that I went over in my morning skincare routine. I'll link that in the bio if you wanted to check that out as well, because I'm not gonna go through that. Um, what I do next is um, actually I'm going to, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to exfoliate my lips. I don't do this all the time, but I'm just feeling like my lips are feeling a bit funny. Um, not funny, but like scaly. So I'm using the, um, and I spoke about this already, the Frank Body Lip Scrub. I think I've shown you this again. All my steps are almost the exact same as my, every single one except one is the exact same as my morning skincare routine, except I cut out quite a few. So it like cuts down, but that's my lip scrub. So I'm gonna pop on there. Nice big bit. We're losing it all on the floor. I normally do this over the sink, but I don't get a good angle. All right, let's wash that off. All right, lovely. I thought I should also tell you, I actually used the Frank body scrub when I was in the shower. I also, I use Frank on everything. I know that uh, coffee is meant to be, coffee scrubs are like good for your skin. So I like using them, highly recommend. What I'm gonna do next is moisturize my face. I use the exact same moisturizer I use for my morning skincare routine. I also need to apologize, I'm still on my phone. That's why the lighting is also not great. But anyway, I used the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I've got it balancing on it at the moment. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll just, this bad, this bad boy right here, massive one. Now I'll pop it back. Ooh. So I'm gonna take one pump that. I love this stuff. I want a moisturizer that is lightweight enough that I feel like it's actually doing something for my skin without feeling extremely heavy. I find some, like this is a nice balance between milky and creamy without being overly creamy and like heavy in your face and you go to bed like, oh, that was intense. But I'm just the same as in the morning, I almost like drag it across my face and use it to smooth out my skin and get rid of it, drain anything that might have built up across the day. But yeah, pretty chill. So that is that step. So I've moisturized my skin, I've exfoliated my lips, I've put it on my face moisturizer. Next, I'm gonna be putting on my moisturizer on my eyes, which is just the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel that I've already spoken to you about as well. And I use this. This is a really great dupe for, oh, what's it called? The Clinique Hydro Gel. It's like that pink one that I used to use. And I just, over time, I was like, surely there's something else that's cheaper that I could use. And it was this. Oh, my bags. Wow. I'm very tired. This weekend's been very busy. But yeah, I'm only going to take a tiny little dab of my gel. I'm just going to sweep it across my eyelids. Oops, I'm going to take another finger. I don't contaminate anything. Recently, I've been finding my eyelids are really dry. And so I have to use, and I will show you. Do I have it? Yes, I have it. Um, a doctor prescribed eye cream for eczema on the eyes. And it makes my eyes like really water, but it really helps because I just get that so badly. Um, and obviously all my skincare stuff that I've found that work, works for me. 
obviously do your own due diligence, do do your own research and everything. Um, I'm obviously not recommending anything for for your skin, but just showing you like what I do and what you can look into yourself. Um, but yeah, I'll show you this. What I have to use, which doctor prescribed, is the Ellie Dell cream. I won't put any on right now because I want my um, skin care that I've just done to like settle and soak into my skin a bit. But that's what I put on my eyelids to get rid of this like dry flaky nose. You can't see me right now. Oh, I have to tell you about my eyebrows. <laughs> just going over them made me remember. But anyway, yeah, this is only medically prescribed. Um, but I do want to know what do you guys do if you get really dry eyelids? Like I even get it when I moisturize them, my eyes, especially after wearing makeup continuously. Like if I wear makeup for three days and have been taking it on and putting it back on, taking it off, my eyes will flare up and be like too much. And I'm like, but I'm still, I still work and got to go to work. But anyway, I want to know because that's how I have to deal with it and I can get Makes my eyes all really red. You can see they're like a little bit red now with all their veins. Nothing I can do. Anyway, I will tell you a little story. My eyebrows, if you can tell, they're like a tiny bit. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. They're a tiny bit darker than they are naturally. And I'll insert the footage. But I decided to go and get them tinted. This is the first time I've ever gotten my eyebrows tinted that wasn't by my little sister. My little sister has done it once. And I was a bit like... Oh my god, this is so intense. But then it died down and it was really nice. I went and got it professionally done by a chain store. They were so dark. At first, I was really happy. I'll show you in the clip. I'll show you. Hello, oh, welcome back. Now we're just gonna finish up with work and now I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done because they're looking pale. Now at the Melbourne Emporium, I'm gonna find my way. Cool. The finished product, the after. Like, look how much darker that is, but like not. Like, it's intense for me right now. But it's much better. If it's gonna see me videoing in the middle of the city, but. They're, they're really dark. They're so dark, and they shouldn't have been that dark. I wanted, I asked for like a dark blonde, dark blonde, just to make them more consistent. Because I find that in here, they're more sparse and paler than all in here. You can see how much they fold over and create so much more darkness. So I just wanted that save across the whole thing. Instead, she just decided to make them all really dark. And I was like, at first I was like, oh, this is great. This is like what I wanted, blah, 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 as I was leaving. And then 10 minutes later, I was walking down the street and I was looking in the windows. I was like, they're just getting darker and darker and darker. And by the time I got home, I was in tears, like in tears. I can't explain to you how dark they were. And I did not want to make, take any footage of them because I was just so upset. And like we were scrubbing them. I had to scrub them with different like cleansers for two weeks, twice a day, just to get them to where they are now. And it's been probably two and a half weeks since I got them done. And they're still darker than they were naturally, but. It was a stressful time, stressful time. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you because like, oh, I was so excited, but never again. I need to get a eyebrow pencil and just live my life with filling, <laughs> filling it in when I want to. Anyway, the next and last step, I told you this was so quick. What I do is really easy, is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle, Pear Cream. <laughs> Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream. I use this one because this is a retinol SA. Um, I did a lot of research into this quite a while ago because I wanted to introduce retinol into my skincare as a form of obviously um, early wrinkle preventative methods, um, ensuring that collagen in my skin was like being produced and that skin cell turnover was really happening because you want to be able to, you know, live your life looking like you're 20 for as long as you can and uh, retinol is a definite way of that. Retinol also really helps for acne. Obviously, I don't, I'm very lucky that I don't suffer from acne, but if you do, definitely look into it and look into what suits you, but do seek um, professional advice. This is just based off my own research. And so I'm using this one. This is a very like, 
I don't think it's called light retinol, but it's a very, very mild, like doesn't like really do anything, but I really loved it because if you didn't notice, it's a cream, which we love. So I'm only using a pea size. Oh, that's definitely not a pea size. That'll do across my whole face. And we're gonna rub that in. This is also, someone's walking. This is also really moisturizing. It's great at reducing pore size and getting rid of all those, not getting rid of, but helping from prevent all those nasties that you don't want. And you definitely don't want it around your eyes because your eyes are extremely sensitive, especially for me. And a little bit, probably used too much, but that's okay, down my neck. Because your neck, like I said in my other video, your neck is just an extension of your face. Ta-da! That's all that I do. I hope I've explained well enough that yeah, everything I want it to be really moisturizing. I'm trying not to do too much to my face at night. I do only do this one, the Neutrogena cream at night because I, uh, based off my own research, um, mixing it with other items like, I think it's AHAs, BHAs, um, different acid, other acids, um, vitamin C is not good. Also putting this on and then going out in sunlight, um, sunlight is um, deactivates it. So, we do it at night and we go to sleep and she's happy. We're good. I find that sometimes, like, if I don't feel like I need it on the rest of my face, like if my skin is like, oh, I don't want it, you know, I, I take it day by day. I might only put it on my nose because my nose is where I find my pores most um, prominent. So that's my skincare routine. All I'm going to do now is brush my teeth. I'm going to moisturize my whole body in the same moisturizer I use for my face and that's it this is a really short video but i hope it was somewhat instructive um and that you don't need i have a very long video i have very long steps for my morning skincare but sometimes you just don't need it if you're you know you're lucky um and yeah do do your own research have some fun and thanks for joining i'll see you again next week for another video on thursday bye